Hey guys, it's Sarah from 40 Hours of Freedom, and I'm here with Liz, Wild by the Mile, my BFF van friend. And we're gonna <laughs> BFF <do> van friend. <laughs> we're gonna show you her van today, her Sprinter van, do a little tour, and give you some tips for the ladies in vans out there. I'm Liz at Wild by the Mile on Instagram and welcome to my van. Her name is Wild and she has a Mercedes Sprinter high roof 144 and two wheel drive. Also a 2016. Start with my bed which is in bench mode currently and I wanted um, this continuous line so that it feels very airy. It feels very light and airy and open. So the bed um, has two different parts to it. This is one part and then these cushions make the other half of the bed when it is um, completely pulled out. Now the bed is on sliders so what I do at night is I just slide this out, scoot the cushions over, and there's the bed. Okay so my cushions are three inches. Now if I did the van again I would say make your cushions at least five inches. Three inches or two inches for a hard base, a very um, tough, firm base, and then two to three inches for a memory foam. For instance, these cushions are a tough or firm base. What I do is I bought a Tempur-Pedic memory foam, it's three inches, and at night I put it over I put it over the cushions and I sleep like a baby. It's a total life changer. I will never go back to just sleeping on these hard three inch cushions. Okay, so you lift up this piece of plywood and you have the guts of the van, starting to the right with a solar charge controller and also a drawer, which ha houses my um, towels, sheets, and blankets. And then here, are the batteries. They are two 6 volt batteries making up a 12 volt battery. The amperage is 224 amps. I have a battery doctor isolator. I have a 2000 watt Xantrex inverter and that's so I can power my Vitamix because that's my luxury item along with my juicer. I'm that van girl. Okay, so um, you've got my fuses back there, a C-Flow water pressure pump, and then my water gallon tank, which I can't remember how big it is. I want to say it's like 10 to 15 gallons. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so in the back of the van by the cooktop is where I house my table, and it's actually just held in place with a bungee cord and a hook and eye back here. So it's really easy. I just get it out, and I come up to the table base, <laughs> <As I trip. laughs> which is right here, and all you do is you slide it down. Love that. And then the table rotates, it moves, you can even, um, you can make it higher or lower. I really like the maneuverability of this because if I want to stand and work, I can, or if I want to sit and work, I can. Um, and I can just kind of like totally move it around. Now, everyone wants to know about this table. So it's a beautiful piece. I had it custom made by San Diego Urban Timber. They're in Chula Vista, which is near San Diego. It's a suburb of San Diego. And um, I picked out these olive wood pieces. So there's three different olive wood pieces. They saved these from going into the landfill. It's all local wood. And then they filled the middle with resin. And the, um, the design of the table or the thought of the table is that I wanted it to mimic the ocean because the ocean is really special to me and I'm such a, a water baby and a mermaid and you know any other kind of descriptive word that you want to give to someone who loves the ocean. That's um, the design of the van was white and ocean oceanic colors. Okay, so something probably important to note is you're thinking she crazy why did she pick white fabrics all my fabric is perennials fabric that's the brand and it is all stain proof water resistant it's technically called acrylic dyed solution so um, it's just a fancy way of saying that 
if you get dirt all over this mud, then I can just wipe it off with bleach and water and it's, it's gone. My kitchen is amazing, um, but I just don't cook a lot. So I have an amazing water pressure and um, my sink is soaky. So I lived in La Jolla for three years before um, moving into the van full time and I had to wash dishes and I said, never again will I have a shallow sink because the dishes pile up and they, you know, have to go on the counter and it's just bad. So this sink is like, I think 10 inches deep or something crazy. Okay, so um, this drawer is full of cleaning supplies, trash, and then reusable grocery bags along with my water pump and light dimmers, light switches. This is my cooktop, which is the ramble wood. It's what a lot of people use, you'll find when you look at van builds, it's the propane. And then this is my pantry. Now all this shelving that you're gonna see in the pantry as well as my closet is from the container store. And it just really was simple. Like it fit perfectly. And then these are mesh, so when something gets dirty, all I have to do is pop it out and I can clean it really easy. And also I can get back and change out the propane um, really simply, just pop this out. This is my turmeric that Sarah and I got from Hawaii. Okay, so these are, um, this is a silverware drawer. Dishes, which I just have some bamboo plates, some wood plate, or I mean some bamboo bowls, and I have some glass plates, which this is why you don't get glass plates. Look, it's broken. Oh no. I've already broke like three of them. It's just oh, what I God. had. It's not what I had already in my apartment, so I didn't go buy wood plates. And then I have some cups. Um, fruits, vegetables, canned goods, and then seasonings. Love it. So down here are drawers, and you can tell that the van is very white and airy and there's a lot of light coming in, so I wanted to add some flavor and bring in the blues from the table, and that's why I picked the stain, the aqua blue stain for these drawers. So those are um, first food storage, and then that's pots and pans. Okay. And then this is my isotherm fridge, and yes, this is quartz so pretty and you're gonna ask me how much it weighs or that's what you're probably thinking when you're watching this because I get that question a lot and I don't know how much it weighs but I'd probably estimate about 80 pounds and then this is also um, tile it's real tile it's not peel and stick so it's pretty. marble tile from Home Depot or Lowe's you know what's up above okay <laughs> so we're into the good stuff here's my Vitamix <laughs> towels and um, juicer. And then nice. I fill this with water sometimes. I mean, I, I fill, I drink out of the sink, but I also will just fill that with water. This is my coconut cracker, which I never have used. I should take it out and put it in the storage <laughs> unit. Like, I don't need a coconut cracker in here. So, is the electronics bin. It has my Bose stereo. And then just kind of any wire that you need or any plug-in that you need in the van, I find it in here. So I try to keep everything very organized. So what I do is I just get this down and there's books and then there's a bunch of um, plug-ins in here. Okay, next stop, bedding. You've got my comforter, a down comforter, my sheets and then my pillow, and sometimes it gets a little cold at night so I have an extra blanket. Now this is considered my junk drawer. This is also from the container store, and what it is is a magnet panel, and then these little um, containers magnetize to that, to that plate, and I keep pins, scissors, so I just have to lift this up and I can grab for a pin, or I lift this up and I can grab for a postcard, or scissors or hand sanitizer. That's my, <laughs> the that's my importance in yeah. life. <laughs> so next up we're gonna talk about storage. This is the storage for all the sports equipment. So I've got my backpack in here, my yoga mat, my hiking backpack, chairs, a long board, and my wetsuit. Along with my vacuum and then my Swiffer is down there also. 
This I made sure it was kind of a cubby hole so that I could place long items down in there if I wanted to store them really quickly. Um, I didn't want to do a bunch of shelves here so that I could maximize um, the usability. And then I have these bamboo hooks where I just hang whatever on. I hang my goggles or I hang my backpacks and chairs on it. Okay, now I might have the most fashionable, <laughs> or maybe you do. Sarah and I are in a competition of who has the most fashionable clothes of van life. <laughs> <laughs> These are hanging clothes I have. Um, they go back kind of deep. I'm not too obsessive, but I do like to be fashionable. <laughs> and then here's my mirror, which I just take out. And, oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> and then again, this is the Alpha shelving that we've discussed. So these are um, just clothes, 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 and bathroom items. And then down there are my shoes. Love it. So nice. Organized. You got your drone in there too. <laughs> okay, so all of my drawer fronts have this kind of locking mechanism. It's not the one that you see in a lot of vans. The one you see in a lot of vans are the silver push and then it pops out. And I wanted this to be really a seamless look. So what I did is an internal locking mechanism so this ball hooks in to that and you just go like this and then you push it in and it pops out yeah i like those those are cool and probably the most underused and unused part of the van is the wet room come on in <laughs> so i put my tempur-pedic topper in here because it's where it fits honestly <laughs> <laughs> and also um I really don't use my bathroom that much. I mean, I will use my toilet, um, but to shower, I go to the gym, I go to yoga every day. If I'm out in the middle of nowhere, then I totally will use my shower. But it's not used every day or every week or maybe once a month. So it's great for storage. This is all waterproof. It's acrylic. So it's just plastic acrylic that's caulked in to be waterproof. Um, these are my just my curtains for the back. But mainly this is just kind of a, a big storage closet with a toilet. And I do use my toilet probably once a day. <clears throat> so that's it for my van tour today. But if you have any more questions, just message me on Instagram at Wild by the Mile. And we do want to stress that I'm doing this by myself and I'm having an amazing time. I get people, guys especially, that come up to me all the time and ask, can I look at your van? And it's a great conversational piece, conversational starter. So my tip for all the girls out there, all the ladies, all the women, all the fierce women out there who want to dabble in van life, but maybe you're hesitant, just go for it. Like, don't let fear hold you back. I know that's so cliche, but we can do anything, I can do anything that you can do as a couple, another couple can do. Um, and you don't, you don't need to overanalyze it. Like, I have to go to the dump tank and dump my toilet. I have to fill up my water. I've had battery issues. I've had to troubleshoot myself. And I've done it with pride and I've done it with learning more about my van. Um, so just, just don't be scared. Just take a leap of faith. Also, meet van friends and you will. It's so easy. Sarah's my best van friend. Um, I see her all the time and then just follow a bunch of other accounts on Instagram and look at where they're staying, look at their geotags and you'll meet people along the way. So have fun.